this video, we are going to talk about two techniques to prevent cross-site scripting attacks, input validation and input transformation. Input validation is necessary wherever the website takes in something from the user, such as a parameter from a URL or data from a text post. An obvious way to mitigate cross-site scripting attacks is to limit allowable user inputs. You can do this by establishing a list of restricted characters called a blacklist. For example, you can prevent a user from inputting certain script characters like greater than or less than symbols or quotes. You could also compare inputs against a list of untrusted character phrases, such as script tags that are known to be dangerous or malicious. Blacklist input validation only works so far as you include every potentially dangerous character or string on your blacklist. However, it's impossible to come up with everything to add to a blacklist, so another technique should be implemented to add additional security. Encoding involves making direct transformations to a user's input so that it cannot be interpreted as code. In HTML, for example, many characters can be used to manipulate a page. Characters like this need to be encoded so that they are not executed by the browser. This is done through the use of HTML character entities, which are strings of non-special characters that correspond to each special symbol. This helps the browser determine the difference between the actual code on the website and the user's input, thus removing the threat of injections. Untrusted inputs to JavaScript and CSS have to be escaped, which is ensuring special characters are handled properly. For example, a string in code generally contains double quotation marks to define its beginning and end. Therefore, if an input contains quotes, it is problematic because the code would think the quote would be the end of the string and put the malicious fragment after it in the code. This can be avoided by handling special characters or escaping them so that they are just interpreted as text instead of code. This is generally done by using a backslash, which prevents the quotes from being parsed as containing strings in code, therefore allowing nothing outside the string. Another line of defense is to create a content security policy. A content security policy is a whitelisting defense method in which developers specify what resources are allowed to be uploaded onto a web page and where they can originate from. This provides an extremely strong form of protection from outside scripts, as it can be defined to only load resources that originate from the web page itself. One final tip would be to use XSS prevention libraries. These are open source libraries built to prevent cross-site scripting attacks, and as long as they remain constantly updated with secure coding practices, they will massively strengthen the efficacy of input validations.